Hello guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Brits Bollywood on a cold chilly day here in London. Guess what? I'm wearing this long coat but only for one reason because it's slightly chilly, yes, but also it gives us a bit of character, right? You want to wear your winter outerwear and it's like, you know, March time. But hey, I'm not complaining because I've got so much outfit in my wardrobe that I need to wear it. So it's about time I start wearing it. I was about to hit the gym, but then I thought, gym only helps my body. But you guys, the audience out there, the fans, you're my soul, guys. So this is for you. A big hug, okay? Let's hug together. Okay, everyone hugging. Another person I'd love to hug is the voice of Raj Badan. How do I hug a voice? I don't know. Raj, take it away and tell us what's going on. Hi, I'm Raj Baden. Join me shortly for news on Imran Khan joining the cast of Once Upon a Time in Mumbai 2. And Vidya Balan, who has been riding high on the successes of Dirty Pitch and Kahani recently, will be doing her first item number in Ferrari Kisiwari. John Abraham is at it again about his nose. Seriously, what's the problem with his nose? Well, he's a perfectly normal nose, right? Well, he had a couple of surgeries while he was a model uh, because he required them. But right now, during a, a recent stunt for a film, guess what happened? Somebody broke his nose, an extra literally broke his nose. So John was in massive pain and now this has obviously doubled the work for him because he had a surgery before and now he has to get another surgery to recover from that surgery for the result that it was. Get it? I certainly do. So basically, we are after John's nose now and we hope that, you know, his John's nose does get sorted because I know he's got so, kind of bad skin and I hope that he doesn't get any more reactions because seriously, we love John. I'm a big fan of John. I think he's great. He's become a producer lately. He's, he's signing new people. But more importantly, he's apparently losing weight to be starred into this film about the Tamil rights. So he's playing a Tamilian from Sri Lanka and the story is actually set in Sri Lanka. So it's quite exciting. Apparently, Shujit Sirkar wants to do it, but he wants John to lose at least 15 kilos before he does it because, you know, Ten millions aren't really buffed, are they? But right now, here's Raj Badan, who tell us which voice is rocking today in Bollywood. Thanks, Asad. Hi, I'm Raj Badan with more Bollywood Gupshot for all you filmy fans. So let's take a look into what's been happening in B Town. First of all, news about Imran Khan, who has been confirmed for the sequel of Once Upon a Time in Mumbai 2, alongside Akshay Kumar. The movie was to feature Shahid Kapoor earlier, but now Imran has been finalized in the film. Akshay will be seen as underworld Donna Dawood Abraham, and Imran will play his rival Aslam. The project will be directed by Milan Lutri, who is basking in the success of the dirty picture. The prequel, Once Upon a Time in Mumbai, had Ajit Devgan and Imran Hashmi together on screen. Vidya Balan, who has been riding high on the successes of Dirty Pitch and Kahani recently, will be doing her first item number in Ferrari Kisiwari. The item number Mala Jode is an authentic Lavani song and stars the gorgeous Balan in traditional Maharashtrian attire. After three weeks of extensive rehearsals with a troupe from Kolhapur, Vidya Balan is pleased with the results. Sources say that everyone, including producer Vidya Vinod Jobra and director Rajesh Mapskur, think that the song is filmed to perfection. But Vidya and Rajesh want to hold the first screening of the song for authentic dancers to go the reactions. The film also stars Sharman Joshi. Coming up next, we have the world premiere of the film Seven Welcome to London, where lots of people, especially in Britain, everybody got out and supported this film. So check this out. इंसान अपनी तकदीर खुद लिखता है मैं भी निकल पड़ा अपनी तकदीर लिखने के लिए Hello British Bollywood fans, Kel here and this week something a little extra special for you. We are here at the premiere of Seven Welcome to London here at Cineworld in Ilford. Now everyone has just gone in, the drummers just finished, just gone in. The anticipation, the buzz is so fantastic. Premier, seven welcome to London. How are you feeling? 
I'm very excited because they're personal friends of mine. And I've seen Sabika and Asad going through this journey for the last two years. So very thrilled, very excited for them. Are you nervous for them? You know what? No. I know this is going to be a hit. I know it. I just feel it. There's a lot of passion and hard work involved. So, yeah. Yeah, but don't you say. Oh, it's the first time in Ilford cinema, but amazing. I think it's going to be rock. You looking forward to the film? Yeah, I will agree because I've seen clips of it and trailers on YouTube, Zing Music, and I've seen his interview, and I think it looks a good film. Really quite excited. It's been a long wait, and I'm really looking forward to watching the film. Yeah. I think it's going to be a rocking film actually because Asa's rocking himself. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I think it's going to be really adventurous, um, different, a bit of a thriller kind of thing. Now, what is the best thing about this movie? Why should everyone go and see it? The best thing about this movie is something you're not going to expect. Um, you know, you've got, there's a bit of something for everybody, you know. It's a roller coaster ride. Uh, you go up with the ups of the love and everything else, and then you come down, and it does come down. Don't worry about that. <laughs> star of the show. Asad, this is a real milestone for you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. This is amazing. We didn't expect this. Honestly, uh, this is incredible. Did you expect this? No, uh, it's amazing. Honestly, we are really like, we're taking a back actually. What emotions are running through you right now? Oh, uh, every single emotion a human being can go through. I think it's, this is just incredible. I think it's the pinnacle of it, the climax. So we're really excited. But I'm excited for the audience. They've loved our film so far, you know, the music, the trailers, so we can't wait to share with them. How's it making this film alongside us, son? I get to be <laughs> in the limelight as well for a change. <laughs> What Assad's done is very different, uh, bringing Bollywood to London gangsters. So I've, I've seen a few Bollywood films myself, all musical and that. So I think this is a first. Uh, and um, I praise Assad for that. He, he had a up here, and I think it'll go do, do really, really well. And watch out for this man. He rocks in the film. <laughs> I just wanted to say, this isn't a joke. This is a serious business. Me too. Asad being a local boy like me, East London boy, born and bred, to have his own movie and premiere today, brilliant, you know? So for people to actually see that and people evolve, and I've been acting myself for 11 years, so I know how hard it is to actually do, make your own movies and get this far. So for anyone to even see that from Bollywood scene, I wish him congratulations. I hope, him, I hope it does well, to be honest, so yeah. And one word to describe the, uh, the atmosphere here tonight. Buzzing, buzzing. Buzzing. I remember even when we were filming and when we were shooting, he was saying, oh, I'll try not to take too much of uh, the made-up London. I want to show the raw London, the way London is. And even in terms of the actors and the characters, there was very minimal makeup. So what you see at times is what you get. So I think that's true to even the story. What you see is what you get. Did you feel like this is something you can get used to? <laughs> no more than once a week, I'll tell you. The whole Seven Welcome to London team is, uh, I haven't seen them for ages actually, because we made this some, uh, some time ago. And it's brilliant really, and it's like a family reunion. Oh, brilliant. And Did you guys get on really well on set? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, offset we were having our antics. I think there was a very popular Indian song around then. And so we were all shimming to it, you know, <laughs> and the Pangra music. It, it's, it's fab. Absolutely smashing team. What was the main thing about this movie that really drew you in? The storyline is amazing. I'm not going to give it away, but as soon as I saw the storyline, I was like, wow. The team is really good, and Assad has just worked really hard. And um, I think it's important that we all get together and we support good films. And if you saw the trailer, you'd be like, wow, it's a good film. 
The atmosphere here is absolutely immense. Everyone from start to finish has loved every second of it. Seven Welcome to London is one of those movies that is going to capture your imagination and it's going to run wild. This is no doubt just the start of an amazing journey, not only for Assad, but for British Asian movies all over. You guys at home have to watch it to understand what I'm talking about. And where else is better than your local cinema? That's all for me. Enjoy the movie. Salman Khan's loss is Akshay Kumar's gain. It's actually not a loss because Salman Khan has just refused a film, which is a remake of a Mahesh Babu film called Dukru. It's D-O-O-K-D-U. Now, it's the highest netting Telugu film ever. And Salman Khan, how can you say no? Seriously, I really want to know. Well, it's very simple. Salman Khan is playing a cop again in the sequel to Dabang 2, and he thought, I'm playing too many cop roles, and the audience might lose the charm of me being in a Vardi, right? So he thought, you know what? I'm not going to do this role. And they really want to make this film. So guess who they zeroed in? Because it's an action thriller, right? They thought, let's just get Akshay. Now, Akshay, you might be 50, but seriously, with a body like yours, I'm sure you can play a 38-year-old Mahesh Babu who was brilliant in this role. So we wish you all the best, but before I go, here's the question, right? Before the writer of this film, Dukru, wrote another film in Telugu land, which film was that? And that film starred Salman Khan. See, hard question this time. Answer after the break.